This is sometimes what my dreams look like when I've been doing loads and loads of division. Ooh. Anyway, it's a name of this sort of thing. I can't remember what it is. So, division. I think I said in the lesson plan that it was long division. Actually, it's short division. It's, it's not quite that hard yet. We'll get on to that, though. Don't worry. I've got the cat here with me. I need to give him a name, really. Um, otherwise, the first half of these questions are quite easy, actually, because 8 and 4, both divided by 4. So, do 8 divided by 4 and 4 divided by 4. And you have this little clue there. And 12 and 3, both going to 3. Okay. And 60 and 4, both going to 4. But on to the main event. Again, for these ones, you're just going to have to, if, if this isn't enough space, you're just going to have to do it on some scrap paper, find some find some space. Um, if you prefer doing long division, I know lots of people actually prefer doing long division anyway, you can, but it does say use short division. This one's done for you. I'm going to do this one now. I've just made it a bit bigger on here. 7, or rather 22.4 divided by 7. The first thing you have to do, always, 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 with these decimal questions, is put the decimal in first. I'm not even going to bother doing anything else. And it always, always, always is in line. So the decimal's never going to end up here or over here. The decimal's always in the same place. And then short division. So I'm going to say, well, how many times does 7 go into 2? How many times can I fit 7 into 2? Obviously none. It ain't big enough. So can I fit 7 into 22? Well, yeah. Absolutely, I can. And I can fit 7 into 22. Well, actually, 7 goes into 21 three times, and that's almost there. And I've only got one left over because 7 times 3 is 21, but I don't want 21, I want 22. So I've got one left over, and I'm going to pop it over here. And then, how many times does 7 go into 14? Nice and easy. 2. So 22.4 divided by 7, dead easy. 3.2. A couple of things to remember when you're doing this one. Just remember, right, this is actually the second time I've recorded this video because the first time I made a mistake. The mistake I made was I wrote 3 down here and I, wrote, I put the remainder 1 there and I got myself into all kinds of problems. Remember that the remainder goes to the next digit along. Also, even though this 0 doesn't mean anything, it's a good idea to put it there just so that you know that that space has been done, that bit of working has been done. And thirdly, make sure you line up the decimals. Having a look, I don't think there's anything that will require long division. Divided by 8, divided by 4, divided by 3, divided by 5. No, there's no need to actually do any long division. Like I said, if you would rather do long division, you can. Just remember on these ones, make sure that the decimal is always above and you won't run into any mistakes. All right, I'm in school tomorrow, so I might not be around online as much as I normally am. However, do send me a message and I'll get back to you if you do message me as soon as I can. Love it.